as a city, we thank you for all these celebrations. Even as we come to hoist our flag, please be with us, help the nation Ghana, help the community of Ghanaians here in Toronto and everywhere in Canada. Help our government, help the government of Canada. our guy in all that we do that whatever we do we do to your glory in jesus name amen amen, amen. it's been sung the flag hoisted and we all give it our due respect thank you Ladies and gentlemen, today marks the 60th independence anniversary celebration of the Republic of Ghana, a milestone celebration of Ghana's emancipation from British colonial rule. The struggle for independence began with a protracted nation nationalist campaign launched by our forefathers in the then Gold Coast in 1947. A turning point of the nationalist struggle was then when Dr. Kwame Nkrumah of blessed memory came on board the struggle with a radical political ideas after 12 years of study in the USA and Great Britain to advance the process of independence for the Gold Coast. Osaji for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's campaign for self-government capitalized on widespread disaffection among the masses against colonial rule at the time and mobilized popular support to declare independence and rename the country Ghana after an ancient Ghana empire. Ghana became the first African country south of the Sahara to emancipate itself from the shackles of colonial yeah, 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 and, yeah, sought, yeah. and sought to provide political leadership, inspiration and direction to other African countries to attain independence. On March 6, 1957, a new Ghana was born and a British flag, the Union Jack, was lowered for the very first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A new national flag, red, gold and green, with a black star, was hoisted to mobilize to symbolize freedom and the right to self-determination. Yes. This event brought great excitement and hope that has endured among Ghanaians to date. We are indeed extremely grateful to Ford. to Councillor Ford. Vince Christie and the City of Toronto Hall for giving us this exceptional opportunity and honor to host the Ghana flag in the, on the Ketsi Pool of the City Hall of this dynamic and culturally diverse city of Toronto. Yeah. Today marks a special day in the history of the cordial bilateral relations that exist between Ghana and Canada. This flag raising event to a great extent underscores the city's 
Paul's recognition to the immense contribution of Ghanaian Canadians in this magnificent city and contribute to the current bonds of friendship between our two countries. God bless Ghana and God bless Canada. Thank you all and God bless us all. God bless. Thank you, Madam Florence. Uh, at this gentleman, we want to invite Councillor Ford for his brief match. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you, uh, everyone, and good afternoon. Um, it, it, it is my my pleasure and honor to be with you all today to celebrate Ghana's 60th uh, anniversary, 60 years of anniversary of independence. Um, as I stand and look, looking around to where we are, um, a city of diversity, uh, a city of democratic values, which we all hold close to us, and on a terrace of uh, such a great democratic institution. Um, however, I, I must say, um, I would much rather be in Ghana right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now I have to say it's freezing. <laughs> so we, we can all go there after, right? Uh, but I know representing uh, War II, Etobicoke North, in the northwest part of Toronto, um, how much your community does for everyone in our community, and of all races, religions, and creeds in our working with other um, age community agencies to better our city. And that's, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, about being in Toronto. And, and even more of a special day of being Toronto's 183rd birthday uh, in Canada's 150th anniversary. So on behalf of myself, and I know uh, Deputy Mayor Vincent Crisanti does send his regrets. Uh, he couldn't be here today. But on behalf of all of us at the City of Toronto and the citizens of Toronto, thank you for all that you do and happy anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just, uh, we have a scroll on behalf of myself, uh, being a Toronto City Councillor uh, for Ghana's 6th Independence Day. Um, Pretty much it, it echoes uh, everything I have said, so I would just like to present this. If you are Ghanaian, tell everyone you meet. Speak your mother tongue, sweet like a stippling honey. Point towards home like proud children do. We will reunite within ourselves, maintain our human dignity and moral values, and know that the Ewes, the Akan, the Mosi, the Dagombes, we are all Ghanaians, and within our diversity, therein lies our unity. And say with pride, I am proudly Ghanaian. Wear your identity on your sleeve, and let it not leave your lips without salt to taste. Thank you all very much. Goodbye to the meet. Continue to shine. Lord, our families are in your hands. We are also in your hands. Lord, we continue to pray that you will continue with the Ghanaian community. And in all things, we will give your praise and glory. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
the toils of the brave and the sweat of their labors. Toils of the brave which have brought rain down. 